Today I'm going to get up on my soapbox and preach for a few minutes. There are some things that have been stewing in the back of my mind for a while and it's time for us to talk about them. What prompted me to do this now was a video that L. Clapton put out a day ago called This Video Will End DMZ. His video makes no sense at all and it's this type of thinking that's going to slowly ruin this game. Let me explain. First of all, he's giving everyone his build for the Bryson 800, the one-shot shoddy. Then tells everyone this is his way of getting Activision to remove the AR rounds from the game because if they don't, the gun will run rampant throughout the DMZ and diminish the quality of our gaming experience until we all quit. Apparently, he hasn't played on a Sheikah Island, Vondel, or in Building 21 lately. If so, he would know that everyone already has the build for it, and probably 75% or more of the players use it religiously. Activision has already proved to us they are not going to make any more changes to this game at all. So threatening them by releasing this build was pointless. What we have now is all we're going to get from this version of DMZ. Accept it. Now, this shotgun was last updated right before the release of MW3. The devs knew what they were doing when they buffed it. If you go and watch my video, Activision Exposed, I talk about my theory that Activision purposely puts exploits in the game to make casual players, which is the majority of us, want to quit playing DMZ. But the love for Call of Duty will drive them to purchase MW3 or even BO6. Once Activision has you in the new game, they can start selling you the battle pass and the operator bundles. They have absolutely created a money train so much larger than any of us can even imagine. They could care less what we think or plead regarding the current state of DMZ. So let's talk about DMZ in this one shot shotgun. I freaking hate it of course as most players do, but it is still the most widely used weapon in the game. And I truly believe it boils down to skill levels of the players that use them. I don't think I've seen any big content creators carrying them regularly because most of them are ballers that just don't need the assistance the one shot brings with it. They enjoy the thrill of getting kills with many other guns as I do as well. Aside from the Lockwood, I'm always carrying different weapons when I load into play. I enjoy mixing things up and am constantly looking for the next great weapon I haven't used before or at least recently. I just last week started using the Cast Off 545 and apparently it has the fastest time to kill of all the ARs except for the Hemlock with Blackout Rounds. Shotguns are not ruining this game though. What is ruining the game in my opinion are the cheaters and exploiters. Going under the map and under barrel glitches and things like that, that hurts the game much more than one shot shotties. When I'm playing on a Sheikah, if I find out there's someone under the map, I'll post a comment in the chat letting the lobby know and then just exfil. The people that do this specific exploit will get tired of not getting kills or maybe only getting one kill per game and sooner or later they'll just stop doing it. If we're all proactive, we can work together to deter most of this crap. A few weeks ago, Chunk and I had a player on our team that was using the under barrel glitch. When he died, we refused to pick him up for cheating, so he quit the game. We all should know by now what's right or wrong and do what's right. I would much rather lose a good, fair fight than win a fight because I was cheating somehow. Exploits and cheating do not take skill. They do expose your character, however, for everyone to see, and I have to believe if a person cheats in a video game, what kind of stuff are they doing in their real life? So we know Activision isn't doing anything more with this game. The best we can hope for at this point is they get smart and release a DMZ 2.0 in the near future. But we as a community, if we want this game to continue, then the cheating and exploiting needs to stop. All you're doing is driving players away that get angry. If we want Activision to do anything with this game type in the future, we need to stop giving them money now. Stop buying the battle passes. Stop buying the operator bundles. Stop buying the new games they're releasing. The only way we can take control of our destiny is to work together to make them listen to us and money talks, or in this case, the lack thereof would yell volumes. I know this was a long rant, and if you're still here, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me. Let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way. I love hearing other points of view. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video as Chunk and I continue to clear lobbies playing DMZ duos. We have fun doing it, so you can have fun watching it. Enjoy! Enemy vision. Enemy here. Operators will put a contract on your head and 
Engage at your discretion. Ultra One, be advised, an operator in your area yeah, needs medical. Get I'm over here shooting bots and shit, and you're over here getting all the fun stuff. I mean, and that's the difference between me and you, baby. <laughs> well, the freaking bots would just stop shooting me. They're still shooting me. I don't, I don't worry about the bots. There's two and there's two or three. One went up, but I couldn't finish him. Friendly airstrike on the way. Oh shit. Somebody hit me with a bow and arrow. Behind us. Push, push with me. I'm, I'm Don't worry about that gun. Ultra one enemy threat appears low in your area. Body right here. Good hit. Hostile, Axel Scott. He's, he's moving around over there. They tagged me. God damn it. Fuck this guy. Let's see if he can hit me in the air. Damn, right? Fuck him, dude. I like that. He was pissing me off, bro. Come on. And then Loki chubbed me up, bro. Gay. You're like, <laughs> let's see if he can shoot in the air and then boom, they see you know he's dead. <laughs> That was so funny. Oh, so that was hot, bro. Oh my god, don't talk to me like that. You'll get me all excited. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. You cracked me up, dude. Fuck, that's crazy. Let's see if you can get shots in the air and then you know he's fucking bro. down. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me some money. Hey, people. Moving. Oh shit, they just turned her camping. There's two of them. Shit! Ocean sentry is active. Hostile bomb drone is active. There's one, there's one laying down right there. Good shit, good shit. I got the first one, the second one got me though. Ultra one, operator is near I knew you were gonna fucking wound him, so I went in there for the finish, bro. <laughs> oh, so you used me, basically. I, got... <laughs> I didn't use you, but I, was your I didn't cannon. want us to both go down if we push at the same time. I was your cannon <laughs> fodder. Open. Oh, that. That apartment. Oh, 
Fuck, thank you, thank you. What's up, bro? Hey, you're solo? Let's join up. Apartment guy. Bad apartments. Hello? I hear you, I hear you. You all saw that three for One kill confirmed. One more will put a contract on your head. But I'm liking the way you're landing on these guys, bro. <laughs> uh, uh. I can't believe I've made it all the way you know around the I mean? corner and still landed on the third fucking floor. The extract point. Be advised. We can't stay here long. This is Dino uh. 4. All of you secure. Exiting the AO. I found a few of them. There's a research center key if anybody wants one. Up and at him, soldier. I'll take that. It's a revive pistol. <laughs> Alright, good game. GG's, thank, thanks for picking me up, guys. No problem. Good. Yeah, well, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna start. They're are gonna do it. When it catches up. I'm running so hot about the Lockwood now. <laughs>